Hey there, Chris Wells here, and today we're going to be doing a tutorial as if you have never opened up Lightworks before, as if you've just downloaded it, you're all excited, ready to make your first video, and now, what do you do? Well, hopefully this video will help you. So let's imagine we've downloaded, we've installed it, and here we are. So, Lightworks is here. Oh, very exciting. Let's click and open this. And the first thing you'll be greeted with, as well as the little shark loading screen, the first screen you will be greeted with is this screen here, getting you to open up a new account, as well as setting up which license you want. For today's video, I'm going to be doing everything as if we have a free license with future videos, looking at some of the extra features you can get if you upgrade. So first things first, let's make an account I already have. So let's pretend I've already done that. Bloop, 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 bloop. So let's go and pretend we've already made our account and just put in our login details here and press sign in. Let that load in and you will see, bam, which licenses you have activated slash is available today. It's just going to be the free one. So we've set that up and then we get to press next. Choose your language, press next again. Choose which kind of keyboard layout, dependent on which software you may have used before. Let's just go with the default for now. And then you'll get to this page here, which will show you whether you want a fixed or a flexible layout. I suggest just if you are starting off for the very first time to try a fixed layout, you can switch to a flexible layout at any point. All it really means is you can move your windows around to all different areas. And if you have multiple screens, it's absolutely great. But for today, we're just going to be doing a fixed layout. We then have a little get started video, which if you wanted a more detailed dive into editing a video from beginning to end, I highly recommend you watch that. And then you get to the project screen. Obviously, I've made a few projects before, so you will probably get a completely blank screen. So we want to make our first new project. How exciting. Let's press create new project. Let's give it a name. My first project. Oh, helps if I can spell. And then let's add in any other notes if we want to add notes. Those are completely optional. Um, yay, this is new. This might help in case you need to kind of keep track of which projects you're doing, if, especially if you have multiple versions. With all of that put in, let's just press create. And then you'll be greeted with the Lightworks layout right here. The three key areas you need to think about when you first open up Lightworks is this corner here, which is essentially your basket of building blocks in order to make your video. Your timeline, this is essentially your video in visual form. As you can see here, this is all, these are all, these numbers up here is just a bit of time. So we go from zero all the way along, we'll go up to four minutes, 59. So this is essentially a five minute video here. Obviously there's nothing here yet. And up here, we have our little viewer window here. And this is essentially your video as you play it on the timeline. So the first thing we need to do really is obviously get some clips in. So let's go down here to import clips. And you'll be able to navigate with the window on the left in order to find your clips. I highly recommend you put everything, all the clips and audio and things you need into one folder so you can keep it all in one place so you don't risk losing all of your footage and the chaos that can reign from something like that. So with all of our footage in one folder, we can see it all here. You can have a quick look through. You can click these little lines at the bottom just to check your footage here. This is definitely footage I have collected and not stock footage. And there we go. Oh yeah, look at that man nodding his head there. So now what we can do is we can just highlight all of our clips and press import. And you may notice that there is a little option down here. And this actually gives us two options. The first one is create link, which will essentially leave all of that footage in that folder and will create a little link for Lightworks to know, okay, all of the footage is in that folder. So obviously if that folder is on an external hard drive or a memory stick, if you unplug that memory stick or hard drive, or something happens and the hard drive letter changes, your footage will be lost and you need to reconnect it up. So that's just another thing that you need to keep an eye on. Alternatively, if you are, oh no, all of this footage is on a memory stick that I am going to unplug, you can press this button here that says copy local. And what that will do, will copy all of that footage over into your Lightworks folder, which will be on whichever drive that you've installed Lightworks on. So you can change these settings if you have a higher license, but on the free license, you don't have any control over that. So let's just press import. I'm going to keep create link because it's on the C drive up here. So I know that it's all going to be fine. So make sure what all the footage that you want is highlighted and press 
import. And as you can see on the left hand side now, we've got all of our footage up here. We can filter by video and by audio. There's just one bit of audio there because it's the music and all of our video here. So let's pretend we've got hundreds and hundreds of clips and we want to keep everything organized so we don't get too muddled while we're in the flow of editing. So in order to do that, what we can do is create a bin. So you can see here, we have the option of bins here. There's no bins here currently. Press the little plus button. So let's call this scene one. So now that we've got scene one, what we can do is we can drag this clip over into there, let go. And now you can see in scene one, we have the shot for scene one. And then all we've got to do is press clips here and this will have all of our clips that we need here. As you can imagine, if you have hundreds and hundreds of clips, it's very helpful to keep everything in those kind of little collected places. So let's just make one more bin, press that plus again and go scene two, right? Obviously we've got nothing in there at the minute and I'm just going to put in the rest of the footage and the song because the song is going to just be in scene two. So now when I'm working, I can just make sure I've got the right scene open while I'm editing this. As well as clips, you can also add sequences and other things in there so you can build out a whole project of multiple scenes and things that you will need. So with all that ready, let's start building out our film. So we can add our footage onto our timeline in many different ways, but for today, I'm just gonna do a quick little drag and drop. There we go. So you can see here, we've got our clip here and let's just add a second shot here. And now we've got our two clips right here. And as you can see on this window on the right now, this basically shows the visual of everything that we see on our timeline. And if we want to zoom in to get a closer look, cause you know, let's say this film isn't going to be over five minutes long, just put your mouse down. So you get this little icon here and then you can drag it and this will extend or shorten the length of the timeline that you can see. So you can kind of scroll along and have a look, but let's keep it like this for now. So as we can see, we've got this shot. And then as it goes on to the next shot, boom, there we go. This guy is having a very bad day. So today we looked into opening up Lightworks for the first time, as well as some key features and settings as you get started in your Lightworks video editing journey. And if there is one thing you take away from today, it is learning those organizational tips and tricks now, because you will thank yourself years down the line the amount of times i've had projects where i've had to open them up after many many years maybe it's just a logo change because they've rebranded but the amount of times that everything has been well organized no relinking of footage or anything the amount of time that is saved is amazing so always stay organized even for silly little projects they're good habits to build in now Please go to our YouTube channel to find some more amazing video tutorials in more details, as well as going to our Lightworks forum to find some amazing, helpful people on there and discuss and get involved there. And as always, keep making videos.